the story I'm here to narrate to you today. To go back to the very first story of the Tata Group. And the first story of the Tata Group, ladies and gentlemen, occurred in the year 1839. A young boy was born in this house in a place called Nabhari in Gujarat. His name was Jamshedji Nusarvanji Tata. And he went to become the founder of the Tata Group. At the age of 13, Along with his father, they moved from Navasari to Mumbai, where Jamshedji Tata, at that time a young boy, used to sit in his father's loft and read a lot. He was very fond of reading. He read the works of Charles Dickens, William Makepeace Thackeray. He read though he was particularly fond of the works of Mark Twain. After he finished college education, he joined his father's trading business. And in 1868, he decided to a job on his own. He began a company, Tata and Sons, which is uh, which is today the company that is the founder of the Tata Group. In 1868, the Tata Group was founded. Now, initially it was a trading company, but within six years, he founded his very first industrial enterprise in the country. And this was a textile mill located in Nagpur, of the cotton growing region of India. It was called the Empress Mill. This is an old vintage photograph of the Empress Mill. You can see women there spinning cotton into, uh, into uh, you know, in the, in the mill. It became a very profitable enterprise. I am told that within 25 years of its foundation, uh, the shareholders of this mill multiplied their wealth 50 times. How did Jamshed do this? He did this by using best quality of cotton, long, long staple. He did it by using some innovations, the ring spindle, which were new to the textile industry and had not been used at then, even in the UK, but he took a risk and used them in India. And by Empress Mill soon became a very profitable enterprise. But that is not why, in fact, it became, I think, the most profitable enterprise of its kind in the country. But that is not the reason why I'm narrating the story to you today. It was very special because of the See the ladies working in these mills. What he did, what Jamshed professors did, is for these workers, many of whom were semi-educated workers, he ensured the best quality of employee welfare. For, for working women, there were cracks at the empress mills to take care of their children. Remember, this was more than 100 years ago. Even today, not all companies have crashes to take care of the children of working women. And Jamshedji Tata did this. Uh, you know, they, at the empress mills, it was done more than 100 years ago. In the year 1887, he established a pension fund for the workers of his uh, mills. Imagine that. This was the first pension fund of its kind in the country. In 1895, he established an accident compensation scheme for his workers. In 1901, do you know what he established in these mills? All of us take provident fund as granted today. If we work in a company, our pay is fund at the end of the month. In 1901, he introduced a provident fund scheme for his workers, the very first time ever in India with the concept of provident fund. You know, each of these schemes for employee welfare were pioneering innovations in the Indian industry, and they established a new way of doing business. He was asked, why are you spending this money on welfare? Why do you invest so much on welfare, on a pension fund, on a provident fund, on an accident compensation scheme? So speaking in 1895, he explained his new way. He said, we do, not, we do not claim to be more unselfish, more generous, or more philanthropic than other people. But we think, we started on sound and straightforward business principles, considering the uh, interests of our shareholders are own and the health and welfare of our employees, the sure foundation of our prosperity. If you go back and look at the uh, you know, entire story of Empress Mills, you will see that there were many, many other innovations that he did here for the workers. He had evening classes and night classes for the people working in the mills. He set up gymnasiums for exercise and good health. Sport, part of life at the mills. He installed, you know, an old movie projector, cinematograph, 
for which people could be entertained. Free medical facilities were offered to offered to uh, the, the people working at this mill. One of the speeches that I have read of Jamshedji Tata, perhaps the only speech I have come across where he delivers a long speech, extended speech. He pays attention to every single you know arrangement for the workers. He says we have paid the greatest attention to sanitary arrangements. Uh, yes, he talked about fan ventilation, humidifiers to prevent the effects of uh, very dry air. And he says, we are about to try this new scheme in the shed. He says, it's sure to succeed in one thing, even if nothing else, in giving an equally distributed supply of free, fresh and pure air to our work people. It's fascinating to see from this address how you just every aspect of worker welfare. The uh, welfare of his employees in his mind became the welfare of the community. And eventually it became the welfare of the nation. In many